Hello everybody, welcome to another video on Tactical Fun. I'm George, obviously. And today we're going to talk about the new Sage Dynamics from Roscoe K9 Barrel. And if anyone knows, I have a history with Roscoe Barrels because I've received more than one that's been damaged or the dimple on the wrong side or the feed ramps up here and whatnot. So last time they were talking about Roscoe Barrels, I posted something that probably wasn't very friendly because... If you know me, you know me. But uh, the owner of Roscoe Barrels got in touch with me and went on about how they're trying to make everything better and the quality control is getting better. And I told him about my experience in the automotive industry and aerospace and we're allowed one defect in a million parts. So I said, that's what I'd expect from them because you run the same kind of machines that I do. So he said that they're trying to get better. So I'm taking him at his word. So I ordered the K9 Roscoe Barrel which this is, is a Sage Dynamics. If you guys all know uh, Aaron Cohen from Sage, he does a lot of red dot videos, red dot testing. He has the, works with uh, Sons of Liberty and this barrel is actually in that rifle. Side note, if you're paying $2,500 for that rifle, this barrel cost $140. So you might wanna not do that. All right, so it has its own special length of gas tube. It's not quite mid length, it's not quite carbon length. It comes with the gas tube. Um, it has a very thick profile, thick from here to here. Then it has a few steps in it. And then the gas port here, I have my no pin here, is 0.081, which, so if you heard that, that's pretty rough. That's the first problem I found so far. <laughs> grindy, grindy. So the gas port's a little grindy, but uh, 0.081 and the other barrel I have ordered to test for my new suppressor, I got the Dead Air Sierra 556 that just came out. Everyone saw it on my Instagram. Everybody was upset because you can't buy it anywhere, but my local dealer had them and they're sold out now, so sorry. But, um, so the lead and steel barrel, that's a HM, HM nitride. I don't think their nitride is called HM Defense, but it's from HM Defense. And it has a bunch of steps in the barrel, but their gas port is 0.086, so it's 5 thousandths larger. So that probably suppresses worse. This was designed for a suppressor according to Aaron's videos, but we'll find out because we'll test it and see which one's gas here. I'm going to guess the other one I bought. But so the threads are nice. The finish is nice. It's a nitrided 416R stainless steel, so it should be pretty accurate. This is going to go in a Colt upper that's sitting over there that I forgot to bring over. It has a nitrided gas tube. It looks nitrated that I also forgot to bring over here because I'm always well prepared. So going to get Colt Upper, it's going to get a DLC coated bolt carrier group, so it's getting a snazzy ass bolt carrier group, uh, radian charging handle, it's getting one of those new CMT DRT uh, hand guards, uh, it's going to have the dead air flash hider Xeno mount, which I didn't even know existed until I got my new suppressor, and it looks like an A2 mount with threads on it, it's fucking sick, uh, I love it. So with all of that, it's going to get the uh, EOTech EXPS 3.0 on it, and it's going to go on a, my Geisley SBR lower. So we'll be testing this and the other barrel. But my initial thought was I was just going to swap barrels. I'm lazy, so I'm probably building a whole other upper, so we'll have two. But here we are. So we're going to start actually using some data in the videos with the pins, and because I'm a professional machine builder and machinist. So instead of you arguing with me all the time, I'm just going to prove it to you right here. So that's 0.081, which is beautiful. The grindy, not beautiful. The rest of it, the everything else, perfect so far. So we're going to give Roscoe another chance and let's see how she does. Thank you.